Hi, I'm Benjamin Garrett. Have you ever wondered what this stood for when walking around Mohawk College? Or what these things are all about? Yeah, probably not. But I'm going to tell you about it thanks to the Green Building Fundamentals course. The Learning Exchange contains a variety of lighting systems that help to reduce energy consumption by artificial light. The eye-catching two-story living wall is made up of over 2,000 plants. These plants help improve the indoor air quality through the process of biofiltration. This means that the plants absorb toxins like carbon monoxide and formaldehyde from the air and produce clean oxygen for us to breathe. The many plants also help to cool the air, which reduces the cooling costs of the building. In fact, a large group of plants can reduce indoor temperatures by several degrees. This building, along with the rest of the college, is equipped with LCD monitors that display campus news and announcements, as well as highlight some of the great work done by our media students. Displaying this information digitally reduces the amount of temporary paper signage produced and thrown away at Mohawk. The Cummings Library and Collaborator boasts over 65% of available resources in digital format, which also reduces paper consumption and allows for a more efficient use of space. The collaborative technologies incorporated into the Smart Classrooms, eLibrary, and Collaborator make paperless information sharing easy. The plumbing fixtures installed in the Learning Exchange include low-flow toilets, urinals, and faucets that significantly decrease water consumption. Creating a synergy with the existing neighborhood is an important part of any lead building. One way of accomplishing this is supporting active and alternative modes of transportation. The Learning Exchange includes pedestrian-friendly landscaping that provides safe, convenient access to municipal public transportation. The front entrance is equipped with a bike pad for cyclists and a drop-off area for carpoolers. Supporting active and alternative transportation helps improve physical activity levels, maintains air and water quality, reduces local traffic congestion, and increases accessibility to the campus. In order to meet LEED standards, a minimum of 50% of the wood used is required to be certified by the Forest Stewardship Council. The FSC provides wood and paper products from a responsible source that's environmentally conscious, economically viable, and socially beneficial to the communities from which they're extracted. A certification from the FSC carries the recognition that the wood has been cultivated from a sustainably managed forest with a corresponding planting plan, ensuring the balance between planting and harvesting is maintained. The fennel lawn was created using an advanced generation of turf-type grass that produces rhizomes. A rhizome is an underground stem that stretches side sideways through the soil to help spread the plant. Rhizome sends shoots up to the surface of the soil while extending new roots downwards to form new plants. This special kind of sod requires fewer cuts and less watering during the growing season. This reduces maintenance costs and provides an outdoor area for a variety of campus activities. That's all we've got for our lead tour today at the Mohawk College Library. We've only scratched the surface, but if you'd like more information, visit mohawkcollege.ca slash leadtour.